Here we are in the future and it's bright uh, I can't believe we've come so far Here we are That is a Dumbo What? Hello, everybody. Well, I don't know about you, viewers. Welcome to the 20th episode of this series of the Bear Sons. And today, everybody, now, you probably remember, uh, back in episode 10 from this show so far, well, because Drawbin, however, had to go and meet us in this very house. Well, this time, it's our turn to visit Drawbin in, in his house this time. And uh, that will be at Dorch. Ah, but, uh, you know, the place where George Bryn really lives. Oh, and he lives in Half Bryn Street. Where's the other Bryn, I hear you ask? And he lives in 53 Bryn Gardens. Ooh, now that's something I'm looking forward to. Woohoo! Well, I better go and see to it right away. Come with me, then. Let's go. <laughs> Hurry up, then. <coughs> Oi! Oh, Alright then, family. Now, listen up now. Now, this is important. Now, because, do you all remember George Brin? Oh, we all remember George We all remember George Brin. Yeah, I remember George Pork Bryce. What? It's Brin, you know. How about Brian? How about Brin? Brian. Brin. Brian. Brin. Brian. Brian. That what did you just say? Uh... Plan out trouble, everybody. But, for the last time, it's George Bread. Brian, Bread, Brian, Bread, Pork Brian, Pork Brian? What do you keep saying Pork Brian for? Well, I, I heard, um, I thought when you said Brin, I thought you said Brian. I said Bread. Brian, B R E I N D. Brian, what? <laughs> well, looks like he said that now. Got you! Oh, what? That's it! If you don't listen to me right now, you're glad to find out we get back from wherever we're going. Uh, where are we going to then, Dad? I'm just telling you, boy, we're going to George Brent's house. Ooh! George Brent's house! What? Well, just stop going on about Brent! Why you little, why you little, ah, 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 get off me, get off me, ah, what you have to tell on me? Well, why do you keep getting the bright bread name wrong? Now, oh, but it's not my fault, I didn't know that. Yes, you did, and I asked you if you remembered him or not. Yes, yes, I did remember him, I was only doing it as a joke. Well, are you going to say sorry? No, no way, you stinky elephant. Ah! Oh, Dad! What are you to me? Oh, that's what you get, boy. For, for saying bride. Oh, why does Bob keep calling? Oh, right. That's it. I'm getting very angry at Bob's antics. Oh no, he's gonna throw a fit. Well, guess what I always say. What did you say to him? Well, I only said George Bright. Oh, well, now you've made your father angry, and now look at that. He's frightened every one of us now. Ah, well, I wasn't frightened. <laughs> what? That's the cheek, you. Sorry, Mum. Ah, <sighs> but I, I just thought it was George Bright. Well, obviously you shouldn't have mixed it up with Bright or Brent. And Brent is the definite of the last name. Got it? 
Yes, Mom. I got it. I got it. Kid. Not really. What did you say, Bob? Uh, uh, nothing, Mom. Oh, kid. Well, that's what I thought. I suppose I'd better just do what the, my father does. Your father does. <laughs> you better not screw this up. All right, all right. I won't screw this up <coughs> this time. Oh, I did that, Bobby. No. As your father did say, before poor Bessie made him angry, you stupid boy. I don't you call me that. So cut it out, woman. Hey! <laughs> what? Don't kick your mum's face like that. Yeah, I agree. Stop kicking my mum. I say no. Well, I say I beat the hell out of you. Oh, fine, fine. I'll listen to my mum. <sighs> Sorry, mum. <laughs> God. Now don't kick me in the face again, poor person. Yeah, don't kick me, you dick. Stop, don't you mimic me. Why, I'm going to kick you. I'm going to throw you away from your father. No, Papa, don't you. Ow! Mom! Why did you do that? Why did you just kick me in the face for? Are you all right, Daddy? Oh, No, Barbara, I am not all right. Before you say anything, oh, poor Sandy just really getting on my nerves. Well, I'd be well, well, that wasn't very good if you, that wasn't very good penalty, was it? But, 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 but Barbara, poor Bessie here, he keeps getting the last name all fixed up. And I'll tell you one thing, Barbara, what is a flippin' Don't you say it, Andy. Flippin' accident! My dad did a bit of a you! Ah, 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 Barbara, get off me, get off! I have to feed you coffee for now! Ah, ah! Oh, Barbara! You stupid Barbara Pong! Don't you call me that? Oh, and I will explain to this to my family again. Now, stay here until we say we're going. What? <sighs> Okay, Papa. Oh, <laughs> ah, ow. Yeah, good. Sorry about your father, but then it's all right, Mum. Oh, I see that my dad was a bit angry because my big brother has kept getting the last name all mixed up. Why is that, Mum? Well, because you see, Ben, I don't think that board house has remembered about the print or bride. Oh. I see. Well, that is not very good, is it, Mum? No, it isn't. And I'm really so sorry if your father had to be angry. It's all right, Mum. Yeah, I'm sure he didn't mean to get angry. It's probably because he's, it was because Bort's antics was getting on his nerves. I know. I know you do all right. I'm okay, Barbara. Yeah, that's all right. Why's Daddy angry? Well, you see, Maggie, Andy, who also has your father, gets on, but both Santics gets on bands behind his nerves. Yeah. Yeah. Well, somebody said for the least. What? Uh, to put it, to put it, oh! None of your business, you dopey donkey! Oi, don't you call me that, but cut it out. Oi! Well, I suppose I'd better help Bob up now. Um, oh yeah, there you go, Bob. Oh, thanks. Ow! Oh, oh. Ah, oh. Ow! Oh. I really wish I really could move to Capital City. And then at least I'll have a nice girlfriend as of my own. Well, I know that Alice is not with me at the moment. Hey, but at least I still got Maggie. And I've got Glenda. Well, at the moment. Well, uh, I better join them again. Oh, and I think this time I'll be on Ben's lap and our snaggy can sit next to me. <laughs> oh, I did that, Bobby. As I was saying before, you really interrupted me, poor person. How would you like it to board if I only caught you by accident? Do you want me to abandon you? <sighs> no, Mum. 
Of course not. Of course I don't want you to call me a bot accident. Well, you better not do the same to your father of that. All right, all right. I won't. Good. Now, as I was saying, now today, as your father said, we are all going to Dorchapper to see George Brind. Yay! Well, I said please let me get to see George Brind again. Woohoo! Yeah, I agree with you, but Yeah, so am I, Papa. Yeah, Papa Moo. Papa Moo? Well, the least it's not Papa this time. Cindy, <laughs> I heard that I am not a moo. Do I look like I'm a cow? No. That's my fault. All right, then. Well, I'm going to get you, get your father now, so why don't you just wait for me at the door, sir? So we can get go to see you Bin. Oh, all right, Mum. All right. Oh, uh, Mum, I'm really sorry if I kicked you in the face. I kept calling the Lord Bin the last names mixed up. That's okay, but Well, you just don't want me to do that. That means you just don't remember, do you? Uh, well, not very much, I'm afraid. And I really am sorry if I've made my dad angry. Just go straight to the front door, but and we'll go out. And by the time we get home, you're going to be get crowded by the time we get home. What? Oh, what am I crowded again? But you made your father angry. Oh. Well, in that case, I'm going straight to my room, but yeah, I think I'm going up. Uh, that doesn't mean you have to go straight to your room now. Uh, but you just told me I'm grounded. Yeah, but I didn't mean now. Oh, yeah. I suppose I am grounded. Uh, it's nothing just just until I get back, yeah? Uh, yeah, that's fine, because we're only going to meet soon, and then you can just speak to your room then. All right. All right, come on, everyone. Well, let's just uh, go to the front. All right, but I'll be with you all the way. Thanks, Ben. Well, see you later, everybody. I went <coughs> weird, my family goes. Yeah, I'd say with me. Right, come on, then. Let's go see George Ben. Hey, wait for me, Benny. Come on, Maggie. You can be with your pop, with your mummy. Hey, Papa, Maggie. See you, everybody. Well, uh, I suppose I better help Maggie. Come on, then, baby girl. Let's go. Yeah, see you, everybody. Oh, oh, mm. oh! Well, I better get out. Oh, <sighs> all right, everybody. Now, before everyone else got overexcited, I have completely lost it now. <sighs> Why does Bot have to keep getting the last names mixed up? That's not like him at all. <clears throat> oh God. Uh, where's my family, by the way, Titus? Oh, uh, I believe that they must have gone off without you. Oh. Uh, do you think maybe perhaps I should apologise to Bort? Uh, yeah, I'm afraid so, Andy. Oh. Right. Right, don't worry, Barbara. Right, I'm okay. Oh, well, I'm glad you're okay. I hope you're not going to be too angry again. <sighs> yeah, I plan not to, Barbara. Good. Well, why don't you join us? Because we're about to go in a minute. Oh! Good place. place. Ooh, I, I'm coming, Barbara. Okay, I'm coming. Whoosh. Where? Oh. See you in a minute. Well, see you at Dorch Abbott, everybody. Yeah, see you at Dorch Abbott. Stay with me. E O. Yeah, at least I get to see your... Oh, yeah. Oh, I better not say that again. See you in a minute, let's just say. End of part one. And we'll see you at George Brin's place. See ya. All right then, family. Well, here we are then. Now, we're at Dorch Abbott. Ooh, Dorch Abbott? Oh, hang on a minute. Uh, that's Dorchester, isn't it, Dad? Uh, yeah, it is, son. Oh, and I also heard that it, you two have already been to Dorchester by yourselves. Uh, yeah, that's right, Dad. The one I just told you about uh, earlier on that this, this afternoon. Oh, uh, well, that's great news. Well, the important thing is, family, is that we are going to see George Brent again because here we are. This is the home of George Brind. 53 Brind Gardens. Ooh, Bry Gardens! What? You do know it's not Brian Gardens, it's Brind. Brian Gardens. Brind. 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 Daddy, are you being nasty to board? <sighs> Sorry, Bob. 
opera, but he kept saying Brian. <laughs> Don't worry. No, I'm sure the dwarf doesn't mind being called that. <sighs> uh, but what, what if he does mind being called that? Because obviously he, he'll throw you out. Oh, yeah. And what are you going to do about it, Barbara Ann? Don't you call me that. <sighs> all right, all right, I knew that. Sorry, boy. <sighs> That's all right, Dad. <laughs> you look like station officer Steel, who smells like a big double. Oh, my! Don't you stop it! Not again! You know what, not station officer Steel! I'm just joking. Oh. That's right. Now, as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted by Dutch shenanigans, as always. Now, as I was saying, here we are at Dutch Abbott, and we're at 53 Brent Gardens. <sighs> yeah, Brent Gardens. You sausage brain, right? Don't you call me that. Oh, uh, Dad, one thing. What? You look like a cartoony piece, man. <laughs> Man, eh? How dare you, boy? I am not the cartoony poo smelling. Where did you get that from? Uh, you do now. That's from Sully and Co, right? Oh, yeah. That's true. <sighs> your sausage break. Well, you're a cartoony poo sm- Oh, Dad, one thing. You're a cartoony poo bat. Cartoony poo bat. Oh! Right, that's it. I'm going to strangle you, Frank. Get off me, get off me. Get off. Well, are you going to say sorry first? Now, because, boy, we're in a public place. This is the home of Broadbent anyway. Oh, come on, Dad. <laughs> get, get off. Say sorry, boy. No, get off, I said. Say it, Bart. All right, all right. Sorry, Dad. Right, I'm going to throw you across the Ah! <laughs> Ow! Dad! What did you do that for? Well, that's what you get, son, <laughs> for calling me a cost turkey poo breath. I'm turkey poo smelly. You know not any of these things. <sighs> Sorry, Dad. <sighs> well, well, boy, now it's like you're in a land of babies. Oh! I'll get you this, Dad! Get you! Oh. Well, mind you, I haven't looked at this collection before. Well, uh, I'll have a quick look anyway. Oh, now you throw me up to the other side. All right, you do that, boy. But, boy, remember, don't touch anything. Got it? Got it, Dad? Good. <sighs> Sorry, everybody. Yeah, I just had to throw... Daddy, why did you just take off my hands off like that? You know strangling is not good for you. You thought he could be cost twenty pound breath. Oh, is that you, Borden? Are you all right? Ah, uh, I'm all right, Mum. Did I say anything? I didn't call it that. Pod, I think you did. I'll just leave you behind. Right, that for you, Randy. I'm going to stay away from you until you get the old stuff. Ah, 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 oh, queen of the part of it. Oh. Sorry, everybody. Oh. I really could have found these strangled also. Oh, he turns up in a public place. Probably at 53 Boom Gardens. So anyway, Jack, you three, um, are you really excited to see George Brind again? Uh, y- yes, Mum. Well, I certainly am looking forward to seeing George Brind again. Yes, so am I, then. Yeah. Yeah, Maggie, ooh. Yeah, that's what... Yeah, well, I'm excited for that too, Maggie. You might... She might hold you again. Yeah. <sighs> that's what I thought. All right. Well, I suppose i better go and help my big brother up. Be back in a minute, please. All right, Benny. Maybe maybe Drew wants to see us again. Okay. Well, i better go and help my big brother. See you in a minute, everybody. <sighs> well, I suppose we'd better go sit on the couch. Come on, you two, sit on the couch. Okay, Barbara. See you in a minute, buddy. See ya. Toilet of a donkey. Oh, how good you, Meg. Oh, why is it that Maggie said poo had to do that? Oh, I don't know. But anyways, let's just say, uh, oh yeah, I forgot that we've already had the end of part one thing. Well, I'm just going to say, end of part two. 
Oh, thank you, Free. Yeah, we're on the couch now. And hi again, everybody. Welcome back to Part Free. Well, Andy, are you going to behave yourself this time? Ah! <laughs> Ow! Yes, of course I'll behave, Barbara. Oh, and I see that you four are all on the couch now. <laughs> yeah, that's why. It's because, oh, this couch is so comfy. Yeah, I agree, Barbara. Yeah, me too, Dad. Me too. Yeah, I guess that means me too. All right, Barbara, I take it all back. I'm really sorry if I strangled Paul. Oh, because he wouldn't just say, say Brind all the time. I don't know why he keeps saying Brind for. Oh, dear. Sorry, Barbara, I just can't do anything right. Oh, I'm sure you are, Andy. Remember the day when you and I were married? Yes, I remember the day that you and I were married. But it's just the fact that when we rescued Bort, oh, it looks like he's now ended up as a troublemaker. Yeah, good thing we always have our special friends from Capital City. Yeah, tell me about it, Andy. Yeah, indeed. Oh, Dad? Uh, yes, Mum? Have you picked your big brother up yet? Oh, yeah. I completely forgot. i better go and get him. Be back in a minute. All right, then, Dad. All right, then, viewers. Well, whilst I go and get my big brother, Boar, I might as well have a quick look round. Ooh, so I see that someone is really is interested in Doctor Who, especially the classics. Oh yeah, I see. Hmm, there he is, they are interesting. Oh, I see they've got one of those spin-offs. Torchwood, the Sarah Jane Adventures. Ah yeah, no, that's it. Ah, now I see there's some classic videotapes there. And I see it's got Charlotte's Web, Ants, Dig a Dug, a Walt Disney Christmas. Ooh. Well, oh, that's a Christmassy video. And I see there's a video called Liar Liar. <laughs> but Liar Liar, Bort is on fire. I, I heard that. Are you going to help me or not? I'm coming. Hold on. Super bear to the rescue. Woohoo! <laughs> all right then, Bort. Uh, are you all right there? Did my father throw you away? Oh. <clears throat> yes, Ben. He did. Before you say anything. I didn't mean to call him back. Yes, you did. Uh, well, I don't think he did. Uh, but, don't you lie to me. I uh, am <laughs> not. Yes, you are. Not. Are. Not. Are. Not. Not. Apple. Oh, oh. <laughs> Got you, but. Well, did you have a nice look round? <sighs> well, not yet. Well, you must well join me, yeah, seems like, now that you mentioned it. Oh, okay then, but, yeah, let's have a that nice look round. Oh, don't worry, but, I've already looked at the Doctor Who DVD that, uh, Mr. Brin has got. Oh, really? Oh, I'm going to have a look first of all. Be back in a minute, bro. Okay. <laughs> ah, I see what, uh, Ben Benson means. Wow, that's a lot of Doctor Who DVDs. Oh, the classic. Oh, yes, I thought so. And I see there are some other videos there. Hey, Dad, I'm okay now. Oh, I'm glad you're all right, boy. Sorry if I had to throw you over there. It's all right, Dad. It's not your fault. Ah, uh, that's fine. <laughs> Station Officer Steele's fault for being a dumbo. What? Nothing. Right, carry on looking with Ben, then. Okay. All right, then. Yeah, we might as well have a good look round. Yeah, good idea, bro. Oh, right. Let's have a look round and see what we can find. <laughs> ah, so I see someone's interested in Thomas the Tank Engine of Fred. Oh, yeah, I see. Ooh, PC game. Well, I didn't know that he had one of these. Well, apparently, I don't know about that one either. Mind you, they are interesting, though. Ah, more Doctor Who's. So I see it starts from an unearthly child all the way to Loki Pollen. Hmm, sounds like a weird name for a, a, a special. Ah, so I see we also got some Doctor Who action figures. Touch. Oh, don't touch. Leave the TARDIS from the TV show. Touch. Don't touch. Oh look. Tom is a time engine on DVD. Why didn't anyone come up with that? Oh, and it's either Thomas, um, 
Uh, like a toy or something. Oh, get off me! Oh, sorry, Thomas. I didn't know that. Oh, it's okay. Ooh! What's your name, by the way? I bought Bearson, and I'm a raccoon. I'm Thomas a Tank Engine. Ah, oh, and I see you're the number one engine. Well, now, and I know you haven't got hands, but it's a pleasure to see you. Yeah, thank you. And this is my little brother, Ben, here. Oh, hi, Thomas. I've heard about you. You're famous on telly as well as the books. Why, thank you. If you look at the first Thomas DVDs, which I've got, I'll move myself out of the way. <laughs> ah, so I see we've got a few Thomas DVDs, and there's the classic collection. Ooh, nice. Ooh, and I see there's Mr. Bright, but you heard what your father said. It's Brent. Kidding. Ah, I don't know who that one is. Ah, I don't know who that one is. Uh, excuse me, Dyson, uh, who's that? Uh, that's Sophie Aldrin, the one who does not only if she was played by Ace, but she's also the centre of words and pictures. Oh, words and pictures, eh? Well, well, that's a picture. And Andy's a Dumbo R word. What? I heard that. Kenny. Uh, are you having a nice look round, by the way? Yeah, I am. Oh, good. Ah, now let's see what we got. Ooh, some random stuff. Ooh, Simpsons! Oh, my favourites! I want to see there's Somebody Guy and there's Dad's Army. Oh, I never heard of it, though. I'm going to sing terribly. Be back in a bit, then. All right. Who do you think you are getting? Boy, what's my life? Who said that? Me. No helper, but stop stealing my life. Sorry, Mr. Bear. That's okay. Right, carry on. Alright. Yeah, it's alright. I have to sing terribly. Well, I heard you're trying to steal the headline. No, I'm not. Anyway, let's just keep looking. Hmm. Ah, faulty towers. Ooh, Thunderbirds. Thunderbirds are go. <coughs> Ow! Ah, Postman Pat. Postman Pat. Postman Pat, Postman Pat, the big fat bear named Andy. What? Enough! Kenny. Yeah, that's Postman Pat, all right. Hello, my name is Postman Pat. Do you remember us? Oh, yes, I remember you. Yeah, well, I remember you too. Yep, yeah, and I see that all the other DVDs there. Woo, that looks great. Oh, let's see, we've got some puzzles down there. Ooh. Ah, what's this? Jupiter J999. Ah, that could be for five and seven. Mm. Uh, I'm going to pull it. Oh, no, boy, I don't you dare. Oh, yeah. What? Were you touching Mr. Brent's stuff? No. Tell me the truth, boy. <sighs> all right, all right. I only just wanted to look. But that's not looking, boy. That's touching. <sighs> all right, all right. I'm sure he'll show us that later. I'll put it back, first of all. <sighs> How was that, Dad? That's better, boy. So what? No more touching. <sighs> I won't. Good. <sighs> but anyways, let's just keep looking. Ah, Rosie and Jim. Ooh, that looks like a, a floor puzzle. Ooh. Oh, that's even some more books there. The original... Stories of Thomas and Friends! Ooh, they look cool though! Ah, hmm. Yep, most of these books are very interesting. Yep, so obviously that is a lot of them. So, hmm, very nice. Oh, what's this? Toilets! Ah, gross! <laughs> Love to bought the rip! Shut up, you! Ouch! But smart! Well, that's what you get for huh, say lol to body boy. No, I don't want a lol. Who got this? Ow! Ah, oh, great. Back to where I started. All right then, Ben. Yeah, I think I've had enough looking around <laughs> the best land of babies, as um, your father said. Uh, why is it that I land of baby face? Ask my dad. Uh, is it true, Dad? Uh, did you just call this one the land of baby face? 
Uh, only because I didn't mean to say that, boy. It's just because I saw that your bed has got a lot of stuff in this in this lounge. Oh yeah, that's very true. Oh, anyway, that bed. I'm sure that your bed will join with us shortly. Oh, all right. Do, do we have to be on a couch? Yes. So come back to come onto the couch with us, boy. And I'm sure that a certain dieter will get your bed in. Okay. Come on, there, boy. Let's get onto the couch then, so we can see your bed again. Okay. <sighs> Well, so looking forward to meeting them again. So am I. Well, here's Bork, first of all. Ow! E. Well, Bort, I hope you've learned your lesson now. Don't call me a Turkos Tooty Poo Breath again. I won't. Good. And Bort, I saw you trying to touch it. <laughs> no, I wasn't. Yes, you were, boy. No, I wasn't. Yes, you were. Weren't. Were. Weren't. Well, I only just wanted a look. Well, that is no excuse, boy. From now on, if you ever need to touch or just have a look, ask George Bread fast. Got it? <sighs> yes, Dad, I got it. Good. <sighs> Besides, boy, we are in the house, and there's no need for you to misbehave about it. All right, all right, I knew that. Anyway, so I think Ben did. I think you did say that George Bread will come in in a minute. Are you? Uh, yeah, I'm sure he will be, boy. Now, go sit with Ben now. All right. I bought one thing. Don't ever call him Bright again. You know how annoyed he can get. Well, I certainly won't. Good. Poor Bright. What? Sit down! <clears throat> That's better. Now, all we need to do is to wait for Mr. Bryn to get here. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Jumpin' this Mr. Matt! What? Stop it! <sighs> Kidding. But I'm not saying Brian this time. That's okay, boy. I understand. Well, shit about everybody when Jumpin' comes in through the door. Signify. Help you. Me too. Me for, uh. Me five for a sudden, Mr. Shut up, boy. <laughs> Alright then, family. Right, now, Broadbend is already here now, so, well, we can say hello to him now. And Bart, don't say Mr. Brind again, understand? Yes, I will. I won't, Dad. Good. Now, let me introduce him to... Right, let me just meet him first, guys. Okay. Alright, Dad. Okay. Right, alright. <sighs> well, hello there, Mr. Brind. Good to see you again after the successful visit from, from your role. Nice to see you too again, Andy, eh? <laughs> yeah. Indeed. So uh, anyway, so um, how was your fish at up? Uh, how was your fish at to your field England that uh, uh, after you came? Um. Well, like I said, what more could I say? It was an honour to meet you and the rest of the family, who I believe are with you right here, right now. Uh, yeah, that's right. That's the my family is here with me today because. The reason why we have to come to visit you again, that's after the success of episode ten. Well, I just thought it would make a nice change, because we've never been to your house before. Hmm. Is this any good to you, uh, Mr. Brind? Well, yeah, I'd say so. And uh, I hope you enjoyed looking at the... Uh, uh well, well I think it was Bored and Ben who enjoyed looking at them the most. How about you two? Uh, yes, Dad, I sure have. Yeah, because the Doctor Who DVDs... Well, I expect that Mr. Bride. What? <sighs> I'm just joking, Dad. <sighs> what did I just say? Don't say Mr. Bright. Good. I meant Mr. Bright ha I looked at Mr. Bright's Doctor Who DVD collection. It looks awesome, though. Ah, well, I'm glad you liked it, boy. And what about you, Ben? Yeah, I like that too, Dad. Right, I think that we've... I think it's natural, Ben, now. Now it's our turn. Right, come on, then, uh, big bro. Let's go see him. Okay. Hello. Hi, boss. Hi, man. So good to see you again. Yeah, oh. nice to see you again too, uh, uh, George Bryn. Yeah, nice to see you again too, George Bryn. Well, I, I like your Doctor Who DVD collection. Because those collect collections you've got are so awesome! Well, I'm glad you think so. Yeah, um, uh, it took me years and years to gather all that. And, uh, well, let's just say I'm very proud of my collection, as one. Ah, well, I'm glad that you're proud of your collection. And you know what? I'm proud of your collection too, because... I know that some few of us who are watching us at home right now, well, I know some of them aren't Doctor Who fans, 
But no offence to them, though. Um, well, it's okay. Not everyone has to like it. Um, yep. Yeah. Um, yeah, well, what can I say, really? Um, uh, I'm glad um, uh, you came to visit. Uh, can I see the rest of the family? Uh, yeah, because of course it's only got me and Ben for a minute. Okay, I'll go and get the rest of the family. In fact, we'll go and get our mum. All right. Oh. All right, mum. Right, uh, I think uh, you're the next one. Oh, hi, Ben. Hi, Hello, Ben. Hi there, Barbara. So good to see you, too. Yes, yeah, good to see you, too. Well, I think that now's the place you're about the heating attraction. Haven't you bought... Uh, yeah, of course I do, Mum. And especially the other bit, like just the puzzle for a star. Oh, Dad? Yeah? Sorry if I had to touch his collection. That's all right, boy. You didn't mean to do that. You're only just a bit curious, don't you? Uh, yeah. So, do I have to ask him that uh, later? Yes. Oh, all right. Come on, Mum. Thanks, Bob. Yeah, I think he likes your collection. All the same? Yeah, yeah. Um, and I had heard what uh, you said about the fact that he, um, uh, very curiously touched some of my stuff. Uh, that is not a bad idea, and I shall really, really careful. Oh, okay? uh, yeah. <laughs> Did you hear that, Bob? Grandpa said that, and maybe you're really careful so you don't break anything. Got it? Yes, Mum, of course, I get it. Hmm, looks like Mr. Bright is big. Oh, what? What did you say? <laughs> Nothing. <sighs> well, you better hurt for You better listen to your mother, boy. <laughs> yeah, but how you doing to your dad? <sighs> yeah, don't you worry. I didn't mean to touch your collection. Oh, uh, speaking of which, uh, is it okay if I have a look at your collection carefully? Because, um, I know my mum did say I had to be careful. Um, well, well, you might, um, well, you could spend two minutes doing that, yeah. Uh, yeah, two minutes. Right, got you. Yeah. Woohoo! Yeah, I mean it. And I'll do you, boy, in case you try to touch anything. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm okay. Yeah, if you don't, I'll say that again. Right, okay. All right, good boy, yeah, see, there's a word over here for some reason. Now, you better listen to what Mr. Bruce said. Got it? Yeah, all right. All right. Oh. Oh my god. It's a giant bear! <laughs> Looks like Forty's becoming scared of a giant. I am not that scared. Well, I didn't know that. Oh. Oh, anyways, as I was saying. Uh, yeah, I'm ready to listen to you, uh, Mr. Brind. Ah, uh, good, good. Uh, so, yeah, you can um, uh, look at my stuff, but if you uh, do touch it in an uncareful way, I will not allow you to touch again. Uh, yes, Mr. Bread. Got it. Yeah, I got it, Mum. Oh, gee, and I'll be with you by your side. Did you try to break anything? Oh, no, get out of here, wood. Oi! What? You better listen to Mr. Bryn here, boy. And don't kick your mum's face like that. Sorry, Dad. Well, all right, all right. I'll be careful. Good. And I'll do... And don't kick me in the face again. I won't. Okay. Well, you sure do have a lot of books down there. Hmm. Very interesting. I want to see you got a few post and pat stories. Hmm. I'll just have a quick look first of all. Ah, what's this? Post and pat magic Christmas. Ah, I see. Right, I'd better put that. Oh, it'll all be the first book. Thanks, Dietis. Mm, I don't think that will fit. I mean, uh, don't worry. I'll see if I can sort it out. Here we are. Ah, thank That's you. Fine. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Ah, what's this one? Post and Pat follows a trail. Hmm. And I reckon that uh, that certain my uncle George Buxton has some for watched this episode of it before. Right. I'll put that back properly. Yeah. Right over to you. Okay, so I see you've got uh, Jupiter, well, and I know I didn't mean to touch it on purpose, but can you uh, get that out and uh, have a quick look? Yeah, I suppose we could. Oh, and I'll help uh, Mr. Brink with that. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. So, yeah, this is a Feynman Sam jigsaw puzzle. Oh, a little bit stuck. Ah, here we are. And the coolest thing about this jigsaw puzzle is that, um, well, not only is the box resembling to Jupiter, mm -hmm. you can get the pieces out, just like this. Ah! I'll show you all of it now, but that is basically the idea. All piled up like this, in Jupiter. All systems go. 
<laughs> yeah, well, mind you, uh, Mr. Brent, yeah, I think that me and my family have done a five safety chest back at Rubber Road, back in Series 3. Especially if my dad looks like Station Officer Steel, who smells like a big dubber. What? What did you say to John Brent? Naughty boy! I'm just joking, Dad. It's not funny, boy. <laughs> Kidding. Sorry, Mr. Brent. I had to whisper it in your ear. I didn't want my dad to find out, but he did. It is all right, so right. No, now, <laughs> anyway, so um, let's see what else that I've been twisted of. So I get it now. So obviously that's the box that resembles to Jupiter. Mm, very clever, though. Yeah, I see. Uh, let me see. Ah, there's Rosie and Jim. Hmm, is that the one that was from the 90s, perhaps? It almost certainly is. In fact, if I just um, uh, get it out to show you, like this. Ah, so that's how you do it gently. Yeah. Uh, you can see here, John Cunliffe, the first person. Ah, presenter. John Cuncliffe. For more like where John Cun can't cliff up there. Ah, but uh, that's not funny, boy. He means John can't lift. Oh. What, is he up in that, is, it, is he the creator of Postman Pat? Uh, is that true, uh, Mr. Brind? He certainly was, yeah. Ah. Alright, yeah, I knew that. Yeah, and I see there's Rosie and there's Jim with Duck. <coughs> Oi! Enough, Bort. Just joking. <coughs> Oi! Okay. Oh, yeah, and uh, there's one thing I don't like about... Ugh! That jigsaw puzzle there. That's tweenies. Ugh! <laughs> really? You don't like the tweenies? Uh, no. But I think my, my brother Ben... Uh, I'm not sure if my brother Ben likes tweenies. Well, you know something? I don't. Uh... But it's fine. I mean, it is your puzzle after all. So, yeah, luckily I didn't touch that. Yeah, yeah, certainly. Is there any more stuff you would like to look at before mm. we, um... Well, of course, um, there's that Postman Pat, uh, fan over here. The me and Ben, I've already just seen that. And the same with, uh, that Thomas model. Hmm. I think I'll try my best to keep it, to bring it down gently, if I can. Well, it's all right. I'll help you with this. Right. Ah, yes. Well, I'll help you with this one, too. Yeah. Postman Pat and Thomas together, right? <laughs> Ah, so I see what you mean. Hmm, mind you, they are very clever models. And I see it's got an, ugh, a face on it, though. Ugh, it looks creepy, though. <laughs> well, I sure hope that one's not going to run me over. No, don't you worry. I don't think he will. But anyway, would you like a free ride on which one? Uh, I'll probably ride on that one. Oh, all right, fair enough. Woo! Right, and I'll help you to get started, Bort. All right, then, Mr. Thomas. Right on! Right away, sir! Woo woo! Oh. Hey, Dad! What do you think? I'm riding on Thomas! Ooh! Wow! I bet Maggie's like that for riding that! Yeah, I know! I'm gonna give her a free one! On the board! On the board! Yeah, hey Maggie, look, I'm riding on Thomas. Would you like a free ride? Uh, at least you might as well see George Brin as well. Yes, please, Bob Bob. Alright, well, hop aboard. And Lisa, would you like to come too? Yes, please, Bob. Alright. Yeah, alright, George Brin. Yeah, I've had, I've had enough looking at your collection. But thank you for letting me have Thomas to have a ride on. Well, I'm going to go back to my family. See you in a bit. Okay, Woo! Goodbye. Right, now I'll help you two ladies get in. Okay. What's oh, so excited for this? Okay then, Missy. Right, and I'll hold Maggie too. Right, away we go. I'll see you in a minute, Maggie. See ya. Okay then, Mr. Brand. Hmm. Thomas the Tank Engine coming through with the Simpsons Sisters. Oh, that one's falling off though. Well, <laughs> Lisa, <laughs> you're not much of a person, are you? That's because I didn't mean to fall off. Right, hold on tight, girls. Off we go! I can say, oh! Oh no! Looks like Lisa's falling off! No, mate, I'll rescue her. Well, Maggie, it looks like you have stayed on much longer because I hold you. Thank you. Yeah. Right, and here we are. One last delivery now! 
Hello there, Maggie. Yeah. And Lisa. Oh, hello, Mr. Prince. Good to see you again. Yeah. Uh, so, well, these are what uh, I have up here, as I'm sure you know. Um, I'm afraid I'm not going to have time to give you a proper tour. No, oh, that's alright. We'll go have a quick look. Yeah, come on, Maggie. Let's just have a quick look, quick look around quickly. Okay. Yeah, fair enough, correction. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, bye. See you later, girls. Well, see you later, Mr. Print. Thanks for inviting us. Goodbye, Barbara. Huh, well, then, George Bin. Well, it sure is nice to be at your house for once, isn't it, Dad? Yeah, that's right, boy. It is. Uh, well, then, uh, you two, did you get a free ride on Thomas the Tank Engine? Because I saw Bob writing on it first. Yeah, well, I never did to write, except I keep falling off. <laughs> well, then, Lisa, <laughs> call yourself a passenger, then, you stinky, ugly girl. What? <laughs> kidding. <laughs> well, Maggie, did you enjoy having a free ride? Mm. Did you enjoy it? Yeah. I think she has. Well, the important thing is, well, we enjoyed being at John Brin's house. That's the important thing. <sighs> yeah, too right, boy. It is. All right, then, family. Now, now that we've all met John Brin now, I think the best thing we could do is probably say goodbye to John Brin, because we have to go back to Yofield, England soon. Oh, well, Andy. Well, we'll say goodbye, then, then. All right. Right, all right, then. Right, me first. Say goodbye, guys. Okay, Dad. Well then, Mr. Bid, it's been a real honour to, to, for you to meet us again at your house this time. And it's been a real honour to come into the house. Goodbye, Andy. See yeah. you later. Well, bye then, Mr. Bid. See you soon. Yeah, goodbye. Yeah, goodbye, Mr. Bid. Bye, Barbara. Bye-bye, Mr. Bid. Bye-bye, Lisa. Bye-bye, Paul Bid. Oh, Maggie, it's Bid, you dope. <laughs> Bye-bye. Hasta la vista, Bosa. Goodbye, Maggie. Um, I'll add that. Bye-bye. And uh, love your Doctor Who collection, by the way, and a DVD collection as well. Bye, Ben. Thanks. Oh, goodbye for me. Bye. Bye-bye, Mr. Porkbride. What? How you forget your bus? All right. Bye, George. See you soon. Bye, George. Bye. And bye, all of you. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you later, everybody. Well, bye everyone. Yeah, see when we get back from Yeofield, England. Bye! Oh, and bye bye for me, Andy Bash. Oh. <laughs> Alright then, everybody. Well, I think that we are now back in our house again. Yeah, because it was a very good place. And door jumping is one of the best things in Britain. Well, Barbara, did you enjoy visiting Jordan again? Happy I really enjoyed it. Yeah, at least we get to be at your best place this time. Yeah, that's right, Barbara. That's right. Uh, what about you, boy? Uh, well, I really enjoyed it, yeah. Especially I enjoyed looking at the Doctor Who DVD collection. Oh, I'm glad you liked it, boy. Yeah, that was awesome, though. Yeah. And that's for you, Ben. Uh, did you enjoy uh, looking around? Yeah, I certainly enjoyed it. Yeah, because I didn't know that Jordan had a massive collection of everything that he's got. Yeah, I know. He has jigsaw puzzles, books, games, all sorts of great things. Uh, oh, what about you, Reese? Uh, yeah, I thought he enjoyed it. Ooh, because I get to ride on top of the tank engine. Oh, yes. The ferry engine. Oh, and I saw you bought riding in it. Yeah, that's because I never rode on one. It was awesome to ride in one. Ah, uh, that is great news. And plus, you get to see the models of Postman Pat. Yeah, too, right, Dad? And as for you, Maggie, did you enjoy riding on Thomas? Yes, Doctor. Yeah, well, I'm glad she enjoyed it. Oh, if anyone else asks, I'm not her father, only I'm a substitute, Dad. Well, the important thing is, family, I'm glad that you all enjoyed it. That's the important thing. Yeah, well, I'm so pleased with this family, Auntie. Oh, well, Auntie. The time has come for you to say sorry to Port now. Oh, uh, is it what cut off to what happened? Yeah. Alright. Uh, Bot? Uh, yes, Dad? I really am sorry if I've just lost my anger over what you just said about Brent or Brian. 
It's alright, Dad. Yeah, I forgive you, though. And I really am sorry if I just got you angry. That's alright, boy. Uh, oh, and, uh, did your mother tell you that you're grounded? Yeah, she did tell me that, Dad. And in fact, I'm going straight to my room right now. Yeah, thanks, Mum, for that. Yeah, you're welcome, Bob. But don't come out until we get to the next episode. Next episode? Uh, hang on, uh, it's not the last episode, is it? No, of course it's not. It's only till the next episode. Oh! Uh, alright, uh, well, fair enough, then. Yeah, I suppose I am grounded until the next episode. Yeah, see you later, Bob. See you later, Bob. Yeah, see you later, Bad Dad. Yeah, because I'm now grounded because of my mum. Yeah, I hate you, Dad. <laughs> Piece of shit. <laughs> oh! I thought Bob had apologised to me already. Why go back? Are you alright, Daddy? Did Bob kick you? Yes, only because he he hates me for good, and he called me a piece of Daddy, watch your mouth, not in front of the children. Sorry, Barbara, but he called me a bad Ashworth for some reason. Uh, guys, just can you help me out? Oh, yes, sorry. Ow. <sighs> See, Barbara, I told you that we might need some help. Yeah, well, I know, Andy. Yeah, it looks like Bob's never going to get fixed properly. Yeah, so what do we do, Andy? I mean, I know that Bob's in love with Alice. Uh, actually, it was Alice who had a crush on Bob the most. Remember, Barbara? Oh, I forgot about that because of his lovely dovey face. I'm so proud of him. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what? So am I. Oh, and as for you two, uh, Ben and Lisa, so um, I've heard that you two have been to Dorchester by yourselves. Uh, was it back from series 10, uh, Ben? Uh, yes, Dad, it was, because it was um, a certain creator's idea for me and Lisa to go to Dorchester. That was nearly about, about nearly two years ago. Uh, isn't that last year, Ben? Yes, I know it was last year, but it was a good year. Oh, well. Well, I'm glad that you too had a nice day in Dorchester from Series 10. That was pretty good. Yep. And what did you two get up to? Well, me and Lisa went to the church first, and we had our proper wedding there. Uh, only as pretend, of course. Oh, well, that is great news. Uh, what else did you get up to? Well, me and Lisa went to Mumbry Rings. Oh, is it just for a walk? Yes, and we get to relax on the grass. Oh, it seems that you two seem to have a nice time for it. Yeah, we sure did, Dad, back in Series 10. Oh, well, that is good. Well, the important thing is that, family, I think that we're back in business now. Business as usual. Oh, and I, that before I sing this song, everybody, it's high time for me to say goodbye. Oh, and for the best of family, of course. So I'll see you next time, viewers, and until then, bye-bye, everybody. See you again soon. Bye-bye. Right, and Cue the song, Maestro. Oh, with pleasure, Andy. Andy, who smells of Dumbo. Be quiet, you. Oh, this is how bad a sport is. Oh! The end. Oh!